How do you know Walmart's a good fit for you when it comes to brands? Or, you know, you had mentioned earlier about some things do really well on Amazon that, that or don't do well on Amazon might actually do good on, on Walmart. What, how do we know that our products, our product lines or our offerings are going to be a good fit for Walmart? Great question. So um, a few kind of things to keep in mind is, you know, the larger the market for the product is, the better. Um, check price points, um, right? So like, don't get scared with really large markets because as long as you do things properly, like you could rank really high very quickly at a low cost. So like, you're going to want to go after those big, the bigger categories. Number two is just be aware of the pricing within that category because certain products, you know, certain product categories, if, you know, there's so a ton of in-store items for that and they have like, you know, the in-store items are very, you know, very, very competitive pricing and it's hard to compete with that. It's going to be, all, you could still sell and compete, but like, you know, if all your products are like that, it's going to be much harder. So um, you're going to want to, you know, focus on categories where your the pricing is either more fluid. So there's like more variety of pricing within that category, or you're, you know, you have a good enough price point. So I think you're going to want to make sure about that. Um, and then, yeah, there, there makes just make sure there's a lot of large generic keywords related to your product that, a, that, you know, your product would convert well for, right? So um, if your, if your product has those, um, you know, it's definitely um, worth investing in. There's going to be, what I will say about Walmart is there's, as long as, you know, you, you follow some of the, the, the guidelines, like there's enough revenue and money to be made within that, with it now that makes it worthwhile. But the real reason is like you're growing with the platform and it's you're you're getting in right now. So it's really both of those. It's like if it wasn't enough money to be made now, it's hard to justify investing the money and the time and resources to set up Walmart and make sales with it. But because you could even make money and profitably now and, you know, if sellers on Walmart are very profitable just because um, how advertising is much cheaper, costs are much cheaper. So um, with in re regards to advertising, getting your products ranked. So um, that's been a big key thing we've seen.